finger puppet management project presented by the Kite Group. Table of Contents. Summary. The setting is a factory in Middlevert, Denmark. Briar Plastics is a mold injection factory that makes custom parts for companies in varied industries such as tractor companies, tanning bedding companies, cotton candy machine companies, and many more. The company meets several ISO standards, but it also discriminates and has resulted in low morale, lower productivity, and lesser safety standards, resulting in accidents. There is also a lack of job advancement opportunity for those discriminated against. Discrimination in the workplace and unequal treatment can happen in many ways in the workforce. Employees can treat males better than females or vice versa, whites better than blacks, and young better than old. The goal of this project is to highlight the problem of discrimination in the workplace while also showing that it can be fixed with efficient management concepts. The target audience is the general workforce between the ages of 20 to 55. Our presentation will be broken up into seven short videos, including discrimination issues and management concepts, such as conceptual management skills, individual decision-making, moral rights approach, justice approach, differentiation, integration, globalization, and culture. Characters. Bill is a male in his 40s with low conceptual management skills. He has graying hair, white skin, wears brown pants, a white long sleeve shirt, and work boots. He is divorced, smokes, and sometimes drinks on his lunch break in the car. When asked if he had ever been to the beach, he responds by saying that he doesn't need to see the ocean because he has a big lake in his town and that's enough. Rachel is a receptionist in her 30s who works in the front office and notices discriminations. She has blonde hair, green eyes, white skin, wears a long skirt uh, with blazer and black shoes. She uses moral approach to make decisions. Mike is the HR manager in his 40s. He has blonde hair, white skin, blue eyes, wears social pants, a red tie, and long sleeve shirt with gray pants. He has high conceptual management skills, uses moral rights approach and justice approach to solve issues. Javier is an immigrant from Central America. He has brown hair, black eyes, wears short and blue and white striped shirt, he left his country because he was not able to make enough money there to support his disabled daughter. He misses his daughter and family, and he plans to return home permanently to live with after he makes some money in the factory. Myra is a black employee who has started taking classes at the local community college at night. He has black hair, wears green shirt, khaki pants, and brown shoes. He is supporting himself and a young family by working at the factory during the day. He also is formerly convicted felon who works at the factory on a work release program. He is in prison because he killed a man. Alexander is an immigrant from East Europe, only allowed to work in a closed-in silk screen room spray painting products. The company provides him a mask, but is not the best quality, and he breathes in dangerous materials every day. Alexander has two children in college that he is trying to support. Episode 1. Javier, a Latin immigrant, works for Briar Plastics for over five years. He was trained on all the factory machines and was very good at each station. Even though he was great at his job, he was trapped by management to only work in two parts of the factory, one area known as the oven and the other with the bandsaws. The manager, Bill, assigned Javier and other immigrants to dangerous stations because he knew that they were least likely to complain, they worked faster, and would take whatever was offered to them because they had no other choice. Bill would not let the immigrants take the full breaks or lunches. He talked down to them and didn't pay attention when they asked for safety materials. Most importantly, immigrants uh, made much less than non-immigrant employees. Bill also discriminated against the black employees in the same way as the immigrants, but not so badly. 
immigrants and blacks performed all the dangerous, hot and dirty work of the factory, while white employees worked in the office or in air conditioned or cooler factory rooms. Rachel, a receptionist in the front office, has noticed the divide and preferential treatment and is keeping her opinion to herself for now. Episode two. On episode two, we present concepts such as individual decision-making, moral rights approach, and justice approach. As Rachel goes on her 30 minute lunch break, she overhears the conversation between Bill and Myron. Bill says, Myron, why are you in the office? You should be out in the warehouse in the heat where you belong. Rachel is flabbergasted at, at what she had just heard Bill say and is faced with a decision to make. Rachel says, if I decide to tattle on Bill to HR, the, the harassment can finally stop. But if I do, then I might not get the promotion I was promised by Bill. If I don't, then the harassment will continue. Rachel cannot stand Bill's attitude anymore and uses her moral rights approach to report the discrimination. She focuses on the examination of moral standing of action independent of their consequences. Rachel says, I'm sorry for interrupting you, but you may want to keep an eye on Bill because it seems like he is disrespecting the employees. Mike uses distributive justice approach to solve the, to try to solve the problem. Not only HR believes in Rachel, but also stumbled upon Bill in the act of harassing a different employee. HR will keep an eye on Bill to build a report. At the end of the day, Rachel discovered a problem within the workplace, developed objectives, generated alternatives, selected alternatives, implemented decisions and evaluated decisions, and felt relieved that HR will now take care of it. Episode three. On episode three, we'll, we will present two management concepts, differentiation and integration. Differentiation, the extent to which tasks are divided into subtasks with specialized skills. Integration, the extent to which various parts of an organization cooperate and interact with each other. The setting is the factory's vacuum forming production floor. Three employees were asked to work together to create safety equipment for the 2016 Olympic Games. Alexander is getting very sick because of the hazardous workstation, so Bill, his supervisor, decided to move him to the mold injection floor to work with Myron and Javier. Bill instructed Alexander to speed up the machine cycle. Bill thinks that immigrants and minorities should work harder than other employees. Javier is not able to keep up with the new production cycle time and gets yelled at by Bill. With no other option, Javier starts to bypass quality checkpoints and some parts start to uh, come out deformed. Myron noticed the deformed parts but does not care too much and packs them to ship them as they are. Bill's attitude toward Javier and Myron have impacted the factory production in a negative way. As a matter of fact, there is no integration between all three workers even though each one is an expert of their position. Episode four. On episode four, Rachel discusses going global. We will present some assumptions, values, and beliefs of the Japanese culture. Rachel plans on expanding the local company to become global and sell the products in such places as Europe, China, Japan, etc. The only problem is she cannot speak their language when she suddenly has an idea. I got it. What if I were to understand their culture in a way, and then maybe I'll be able to sell their products better. She tries meditating, eating with chopsticks, celebrating traditions uh, she once never knew, and even dress like them at some point. Finally, the day come uh, for the live Skype call between these foreign companies, and she wanted to make a great impression, uh, and she knew that she had, to do, she had it in the bag. CEO of Japan. Oh, hello, Rachel. It's great to finally meet you. I reviewed your company work and product and would like love to carry your product. Rachel. Oh, wow. Thank you. It would be a great honor, sir. I know this might sound crazy, but I actually mastered how to use chopsticks just to prepare for this interview. <laughs> CEO of Japan. Oh, it's quite all right, Rachel. Believe it or not, not everyone has that. It's quite tricky, huh? 
As they both laugh off the situation, they say their goodbyes and begin their forever partnership. CEO of Japan. Farewell, Rachel. It was nice doing business with you. Rachel. Farewell. You're very welcome. You as well. Future episodes. In regards to the upcoming episodes, we have not come to a group consensus about the subject matter. However, even though we are still in production, you can already guarantee that we will close with good educational examples. What's been done? So far in our group, we have covered milestones one and two. Milestone three and four are coming up in the next weeks. Our group is focusing on weekly assignments and willing to get things done early. We realize that text messaging group members is more efficient than communicating through Canvas. Who's doing what? Ryan is on voiceover PowerPoints and slides. Brandon Biglin, writing and illustrations. Nito, writing illustrations and editing. Brandon Settle is writing. And Mansoor is writing. To-do list. Finish filming episodes five, six, and seven. Submit milestone three. Develop storyboard with sessions identified summary of each session and booklet draft. Submit milestone four, full booklet draft. Submit final presentations, final finger puppet management TV show, and complete booklet. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We are very excited to show you what else is to come in the story of Briar Plastics.